Hello everyone and welcome to another Elementor tutorial. Today we're going to be designing and styling a nav bar. Basically we're going to beautify the basic nav bar that we get with Elementor and we are going to be using some custom code, not too much, but we're going to make it look a little bit less outdated. So let's get into it. All right, so this is what we are building today. Let me just move things around so you can see it. It is pretty simple and sleek. It has a frosted effect, which I think it gives that modern touch and look to it. Don't mind things that I have added. I just wanted to have something on the page so you can see it in action. And I think especially when you have colorful or colored elements on the web page, the navbar pops out. And I think when you don't, for example, this shadow adds that extra modern look to it and let's see it on tablet so on tablet we will have this navbar which is basically the same navbar that we have for desktop and for mobile I decided to create a separate navbar because I was not able to move these two elements in this position I wanted to have the button on the navbar and I wanted to have the hamburger also on the basically on the right hand side I think makes more sense. I also gave this drop down menu a little bit of a modern look let's say. I think it looks much better than the plain one that looks a little bit let's just say outdated and uncapped. I tried to give it that frosted look as well but I was not able for some reason I was just get, giving uh, I was getting a transparent look instead of the frosted look that the navbar has. So it has to do as you can see the the shadow actually gives it a nice modern look as well. I have given the text the navbar items I have given them this effect to make the hover effect look a little bit again more modern so all this was achieved with code but it's like just two lines of code and that's it not much let's go and create our navbar all right so we are going to create our navbar here because it makes more sense i'm not going to create another page for a header and it would be too complicated so we are going to create our navbar here and first of all i am going to explain to you how i managed to uh, achieve this size where there's space in between the margins or the page basically because since i'm building it on the same page that applies to this navbar so i'm going to go here to the settings and go to styles and you will see that right and left we have a padding of 150 pixels and on the top on top we have 10 pixels so that's how we have the space in between. I am going to give this navbar a background and I'm going to apply the code that I already have which is the frosted glass effect and I'm going to give this navbar container a class and I'm going to call it Navo. I know that's pretty bad but let's go on and obviously you can name it whatever you want it is up to you and I'm going to drop in here the code that is going to make this navbar frosted as you can see it also has a drop shadow which makes it also a little bit more modern I am going to actually give this some space space on top so we don't interfere the, with the mobile navbar all right I'm going to also go to style and I'm going to give this a border and I'm going to first of all give it a border radius of let's say 50 pixels and I am going to give it a solid border and a border width of 1% and let's set the color for this border I think it's a little bit too light maybe just go a little bit darker should be okay here let's see yeah anyway this is preliminary design you can design it however you like and uh, as you can see our navbar has no height so we're gonna have to give it some height although the elements inside will give it a height but we need a height of its own give it a height of 8 vh and we have some height let's add three containers one is for the logo one is for the nav items all right so i'm gonna duplicate this let's add our site logo huge i know our nav menu and what i'm gonna do i'm going to copy and paste this button so let's set this to let's set the site logo to thumbnail size and i think it's way too big so 
center everything in the container and in each container. Okay, I think we need to give this nav bar a full width of 100% and make this container a bit bigger. And let's style the nav items. So what I'm gonna do first is go to change the text color because it is horrendous and I can see anything. Typography and let's give this one REM and transform uppercase. Let's make it a bit bigger. Now what I will do, I will add the code for the nav items. So basically we go to the nav items, custom CSS and we drop it in here. Let's also style this because I don't like it. Let's go to hover and change the color because it is absolutely yucky. And we don't want the pointer. Let's see how it looks. And it's looking much, much better. All right, I'm going to update this and let's check it on tablet. We don't want this, obviously. All right, so let's go back to our nav items and we don't want this to break at tablet size. We want it to break at mobile. So if we go to tablet, this is what happens. We definitely need to make this a bit wider and I think it looks okay, but we need to keep in mind that these nav items will expand and will take space. And let's go to mobile. On mobile this is a little bit crazy. So what we're gonna do is basically duplicate this and I am going to go to advanced, go to responsive and hide on mobile. And we are going to work with this one. So this one, let's set it already to advanced, go to advanced, go to responsive and let's hide it on uh, desktop and hide it on tablet. And we definitely need to change some things to 20% this container and this container to 21 and this one to 50. Okay, seems like, like it worked. Okay, let's make sure that everything is lined up in the center. And it seems like it is. And yes, more or less looks okay. All right, let's deal with this. This is not nice. And we want a full width. Let's change the hamburger first, the hamburger menu icon. Let's go to all icons. And I think we can find something. We could choose... I can choose this one. <laughs> extra, extra burger. Okay, let's change the color. Let's make this... Where is it? Toggle button. Let's change it to something nice. I think that's nice enough. We don't want background color. Let's make it a bit bigger. I think it's nice. Okay. So now let's go to the drop down menu. So first of all, we want the elements to be in the center. So we are going to align center and we want them to be a little bit bigger. Let's go to our typography and change this to something around here maybe. Keep in mind that this is on mobile, so they do need to be a bit bigger. All right, let's go to our drop down menu and go to the vertical padding and give it some padding and distance i think it can sit around here and i'm gonna give this drop down menu a background color we are going to change it to gray and i am also going to add a text color okay topography first of all rem our typography is set let's go to change Okay, I think that's okay. And text color, or when it's active, it's going to be a bit darker. On hover, text color is going to change to this color. The background will change to this color, which is pretty nice, I think. And I am also going to give this toggle menu a background shadow. Let's go to advanced. And let's add it in here. 
Yeah, let's just close this and as you can see we have a nice hover effect. Let's go to the drop down menu and I'm going to go to border radius and I will give it a border radius of 30% bottom and 30% left and as you can see there is some border left and right at the bottom. Let's see how it's the top one. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we could bring it a little bit uh, higher. The distance about here maybe. I think that's okay. And as you can see by now it's looking good and it's looking pretty modern and I think it's pretty nice. And let's see it in action. All right, let's inspect our handiwork if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time